Hi, how are you doing today? So today we are going to discuss about JavaScript arrays. What we are going to discuss about JavaScript arrays? We will learn how to merge multiple arrays together to create a single array. But why do we need this? Yeah, you may need it in different circumstances. You might be receiving data from different data sources and want to kind of club them together for your user interfaces. You will need that. So in this video, we will learn five different ways to merge arrays in JavaScript. But before we get down to it, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel. I have been doing videos on JavaScript and web development and my motto is to create more, more and more uh, such uh, learning resources. So please subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notification from this channel. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's get into the business. Let's get started with our hands-on coding. Okay, so I have my Visual Studio code up and running and we are going to get started with five different ways of merging arrays. But what exactly an array in JavaScript? In JavaScript, array is a data structure where you can actually put elements of any type together using the subscript or this bracket notations like one comma two comma three. This one, two, three are called array elements. And you can actually assign it to a variable like say ARR and able to retrieve the element using its index. So ARR0 is going to return you the first element, which is one. Array index starts with zero and that's how it, it, it actually increments by one. That's what in very basic, but very high level, what JavaScript arrays are. But it's more than that. We will we'll learn about them in our upcoming videos. This is about merging. So what is our first way to get started with merging two arrays? Our first way is our traditional for loop way. You know, who can forget for loop, our friend. So let's do the for loop stuff. Um, let's create a function, right? We'll create a function called say merge equals to we'll take two arrays first comma Second, I'm creating an arrow function. You can actually go with a regular function if you want. It's your choice. Uh, for we'll be doing what? We'll be first iterating over um, the second array, our second array, which is like uh, this guy, um, I less than second dot length, and then we'll do i plus plus. And why are we iterating? Because we want to take out each of the element from this array and push it to the first one, right? So the next work is to do first dot push and do second of i. So this line is very important where I am taking out each of this element from second array in each of the iteration and push that element to my first array. That's what I'm going to do. And after doing all this thing, I am going to return my first array. That's pretty much it, what my merge method is supposed to do. Next, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to test this method, merge by passing two arrays, one comma two comma three, and then another call four comma five comma six. So if you map this to the merge function, this is the first argument, this is the second argument. I'm iterating through second argument, taking four, five, six, one by one, putting it to the first, first is already having one, two, three, so first four will get inside, then five will get inside, then six will get inside, and that's all. And I'll be putting it in a variable called merged, and finally what I'll be doing is, I'll be doing a console.log of merged. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, there is some problem. Okay, let's see what exactly the problem, because I'm expecting one, two, three, four, five, six, but it has only one, two, three, four, can you can you identify the problem okay the problem is obvious because i have put this return statement inside the for loop which is a crime i will have to take it is outside because it is going to return after the first insertion so now it should give one two three four five six that's fantastic so i have merged two arrays how am i going to merge three arrays with this one of the ways of course it could be go a little bit recursive i have merge and then i'll be passing say 7 comma 8 comma 9 and that's going to merge probably three arrays together so this is going to return the first merged array and again i'm merging the th third one so it's going to be much much recursive way of doing it frankly speaking i am not a big fan of it and i don't like it so i want to go get simple my simple way of merging to array is using spread operator so es6 introduce spread operator 
it's the way where you can actually spread the elements into an array from an array and then you can actually we will be able to merge the elements back into a brand new array right so let's do that for that first we'll be creating one element uh, which is an array one two three and then another array which is like four comma five comma six and then what we are going to do we are going to merge these two arrays now to merge these two arrays we will be using spread spread operators nothing but these three dots and then you can use the array one to spread the array one and then you have second array you can spread this array and with a comma separated form use it in an array literal array literal is basically nothing but this square brackets again and what it is going to do it is going to return again the merged array for us so let's do go ahead and print this guy from line number 21 and let's see like what exactly the output so line number 21 output is one two three four five six six it's merged now let's say that you have another array you, you create here just pass it again comma separate with the third array it will be merged again i prefer this approach much much more than the for loop approach because because this is this is this is so short so sweet so precise but it has a small shortcoming we will see that in a while after we see our next method our next method is concat so the concat is a method itself in array and we can use the concat method uh, to concatenate two arrays and merge them so we'll be taking again these two arrays as usual we have these two arrays and then what we'll be doing we can do like let merged equals to array one dot concat of array two and once we are done with this concatenation the next beautiful thing that we are going to do is to merge and print this merge so if we see like what is the expected output from line number 32 is again one two three four five six we have merged but I have a little problem with this syntax. You know, this syntax look like that we are merging array two to array one, which is which is correct. But it look like we are as if modifying array one. No, with concat we are not mutating any of the input array. So if you just do a console dot log of array one over here, you know what? You are going to find them as one to three. It means that I have not changed it. So concat always return a new array as a return value, and that is the concatenator of the merged array. But the syntax is a little bit off for me. I rather prefer a syntax like this, where I take an empty array, and then I pass all the arrays that I would like to concatenate. This syntax is a little bit better for me. It looks like I'm going to concatenate this and this, and then concatenating finally to an empty array, and then it returns a merged array. This looks a little bit better for me, right? And, but remember that both of these do both of these things never muted the input arrays if they return a merged array right so we have two ways and i told the for loop is something that i am not going to go for but i have spread and concat which to go for okay so how do you decide like which one to go for is with one factor if you are quite sure that your input elements are array always go for spread no doubt about it but if you are unsure that your input elements could be a string you know it's not an array uh, then probably you should go for concat why let's take this example to understand so first we'll create two variables one is an array and let's take the second one as a string my name for example and now what i'm going to do i am going to do this i am going to merge them with spread notice the output at line number 41 once i refresh this screen and see like you know what exactly the things come up you see this line number 41 it has one two three great but it has each of the characters of the string is spread it t a p a s you may not want like this you may want it like one two three comma the entire tapas variable um, you know inside it so in this case one of the input is non-array and it is creating some kind of consequences for that using the spread operator now to make this thing working what we can do rather we can take this and say merged with concat and then what we'll be doing will be printing merge with concat so in this oops uh, 
So in th this case, um, if I just print merge with concat, so in this case, what we'll be seeing is like it, it will first return this merged one as usual or string stuff, but this one is reting, returning beautifully uh, the tapas has got in, included into the array. So based on your input type, if you're sure it is an array, go for spread, otherwise go for concat. The next one, the next one is push. So we know that we can use array push method to push elements to an array. The same fundamental thing we are going to use here again to push, you know, and merge the thing. So in this case, let's go for our second array, four, five, six again to demonstrate that. And what we're going to do, we are going to do let merged equals to array one dot push of array two. You know, so what's gonna happen now if I do console dot log of merged, what do you expect it to happen? You know what? I am expecting that it is not going to print me a merged array. Why? Because the push method works in a bit different way. For example, whenever you're inserting an element to the push method, the, the variable, the array on which the push is invoked, that particular array changed with the new method, new elements included and the push method return the size of this particular array. So if I just print this, what is going to give me is giving me the size of array one and is telling the size of array one is four. But whatever it is, even if it is giving the size of array one, my expectation is the size of array one will be six because after merging it is three plus three, six elements, but why it is four? It is four because if I do a push like this, it has one, two, three already in array one, and the fourth element is gonna be the entire array. So just print console.log of array one in this case, and try to see like what is the output. You see here, one, two, three, and then again, another array of three elements. If I expand, it is four, five, six. I don't want that. I want one, two, three, comma, four, comma, five, comma, six. So to do that, we have to spread this array two. That means I spread the element of array two. Now if I am doing, I get six elements. Yep, array one is having six elements and it has one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's my fourth method using the push. Now the fifth one and the highly not recommended one for merging is called reduce. I don't recommend it, but I wanted to showcase it because I wanted to tell you that this exists, but this is nothing less than the four kind of methodology that we have already used. So let's take two arrays again. And after that, let's use reduce. So we'll be using reduce on array two, that's the second array. And why we do, well, we do reduce, it takes a callback function and the callback function is nothing but a temporary variable and then each of the element in array two and for iteration of each of the element of for iteration of each of the element of array two uh, i am going to initialize with array one and then inside my temp variable arr i am going to push item and finally i am going to return item so, uh, sorry, return ARR, the temp, temp array. So what exactly here happening, just to explain you further, is like, I am iterating through this particular array using reduce now, taking each of this item means four, five, six. But before that, this temporary variable is initialized with this initializer called array one, which is already having one, two, three. Now each of the items are coming from array two and pushing it like four, five, six, you know, after one, two, three. So now it has one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is something that I don't like because the for loop was doing the same thing and I have other great alternatives for me, right? So these are the five different ways where you can uh, do merging of your input arrays. I hope you liked it and um, you will actually start putting it in practice. And also remember the pros and cons of them, which one is great, which one is not great in what kind of situations, right? So today's video comes to an end here. Uh, I'm going to create few more videos around JavaScript arrays going forward as I was speaking about it. 
please subscribe to the channel so that you know um, you get much more videos and put the notification on for for my channel for future videos all right until then please take a great care of yourself and i'm going to see you next very soon thank you bye